hi guys francis here and in this video i will be showing you why your repo delete is grayed out on adobe premiere pro and what to do to fix it so if you don't know what repo delete is is this very useful feature in adobe premiere pro that allows you to delete a clip and then delete the space where the clip used to live so if you if you hit the regular delete key what happens is you have the clip deleted but there is a space but if you use the repo delete it deletes the thing and removes the space so this is really handy when you are deleting a lot of clips together and then you, you don't want to leave spaces that you will have to come back and close so but for some reason you're trying to do this and then you're finding that your repo delete feature is grayed out and the shortcuts are not working so i'll try to explain why this happens so repo delete works by it works on clips a single clip without any interruptions or two clips linked together it can cut the two of them together so you can see my video and my audio files are linked together so but if for any reason you have another clip that is not linked together with these two usually it's just two clips that are linked together if you have any other clip in between it will stop the flow so it will make it difficult for the ripple effect to to actually work let me try to show you what i mean so i have my audio files here i'm just going to drag them onto an audio track and now we have an audio track that is not linked to these two videos yeah sorry the video and the audio clip together so what i mean is now if i try to do the repo delete it's grayed out because these two are linked together so if if we were to do it normally the way the repo delete works it is supposed to delete at least here and here in the track yeah in the track we just added but because it's not it's not able to reach it they're not linked together it's just the way the program was designed so it just grays out and disables that feature so but if you remove the track in between and try to repo delete again it comes back up so that is the reason why you have the problem and really the reason is the, also the fix for it remove the track and usually what i do is um i don't put any tracks i, I do my cuts and my 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 layout and my arrangements first before i start to play with audio tracks to bring things in between this will make my workflow way easier and really simple and save me any hassle so if you don't know why this happens this is why and that's how to fix it thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye bye